Oh. UConn's an NBA team. No, they they're not. Jay Will. They're not. They, they, they execute like one, but their talent level, I would not say, would be able to make the play in. I, 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 look, the I, mere fact that we're having this conversation, possibly, I think, says it all. They had no chance. Yeah, I, I'm not, I'm not going to go that way with the Grinny. Here's what I will say about UConn, though, as it relates to this tournament. You know, as we enter this part of the season, Seth and I, after doing a ton of college basketball work, you're like, oh, I see the light at the tunnel. That's how San Diego State feels, right, as you keep winning games in a tournament or any other team. Sometimes, though, you recognize, is that a light or is that a freight train? Yes. And that freight train is UConn. Oh, yeah. Like, that's a freight train coming. It's like, oh, no, that's not heaven. You're about to die. And that's how UConn plays. If I said to you right now, Seth, no one will play them within 10 points in this tournament. They will win four more games and no one will play them a single-digit game. What would you say? I wouldn't say that's right because I think Iowa State or Illinois will play them a close basketball game. I just think they'll execute better. Illinois State doesn't have a true point guard, and Iowa State struggles basically scoring at times. But if they can impose their identity on the game in terms of keeping them on one side of the court, rebounding, turning them over, uh, it'll be closer than a 10-point game. But UConn is ridiculous. And the way how hard they play and how well they're coached. Now that we have the ESPN bet platform, I can say this as a betting man. Uh, I, I don't know. Them pulling away from games late, Seth, with their ability, Tristan Newton, Camp Spencer, to make free throws. I mean, we won every game by double digits. It's possible. They were because they have the scores and to make free they throws. They were a 14 and a half point you favorite last night in the second round. They're a nine though. and a half point favorite going into the third round, and that will wind up 10. Mm-hmm. That, that, that number will move in that direction after last night's game. Final there'll word, Seth, one, go ahead. There'll be one game in the NCAA tournament where they're going to have to grind and make plays at the end of the game. That's just the way it is. I, you know, obviously, last year was a run. So that 10-point mark, I think, as they move on, will be difficult. I do think they're going to win national championship.